here. <laughs> Retired CBS 13 anchor and Sacramento news legend Stan Atkinson is here. Thank you for being here today. I can't believe you're here. Applause to you. <laughs> I can't believe this day is here. I know. I know. Happy day for you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It's been, uh, I can't believe it's been 23 and a half years for me on, on Good Day. Yeah. And counting. And counting. But well, no more. But no more. No <laughs> yeah. as of Monday, you know. Just think, no Mondays. You and I met so long ago, uh, way back when I first started in broadcasting. Right. I worked up at a TV station in Tacoma, Washington, right. KCPQ, that was owned by the same family that owned Channel 3, Channel 3. Right. Uh, KCRA. Right. And, uh, and they sent me down here to do on a little field trip to see if I might like working there. Right. And I quickly realized that at 21, I was way too young to work there. <laughs> but you were doing the news there that day. And That's that it. was the first time I ever laid eyes on Stan Atkinson. <laughs> you were anchoring with Margaret Pelly. And then you came back and became a star. Yeah, so then 20 years later, I came back, and you uh, you were just retiring. You were, a couple of years in, you retired, and uh, our boss pulled you later. out of retirement to come and anchor on Good Day that oh, day. Oh, that's right. And yeah. uh, so we made you news anchor again for the day. Yeah. No, and I then, retired. Uh, we actually reconnected. retired 20 years ago in 1999. So I am a veteran. Yes. You need yeah. advice? I got <laughs> I do. it, Ken. Well, you know what? I do, actually, because I'm doing what you did in a way. You retired, you know, you left uh, Channel 13, right. and you uh, went into retirement. You didn't go off to another job like, you know, we had always done before. No, I was done. But you retired, yeah. So yeah. Um, what was it like for you to, to leave the eye of television and just be a private citizen? Um, I was ready. Yeah, I'd been 46 years. And I had done just about everything I could ever hope to do in the profession. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had tremendous opportunities in doing the foreign assignments that I did. Oh, Afghanistan amazing stuff. And oh, yeah. Vietnam and all over the world, you know, for, for years and years. So I was really fortunate because I worked in a great time where that was op opportunity was created if you wanted to do it. And I sure did. So I got a little of everything. And I was more than satisfied. And my wife had retired three years before from uh, Pac Bell then. And I saw what it had done for her, how much relieving the stress yeah. had made her, <laughs> made her a nicer person. She liked me better. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought it was uh, an appropriate time. And, and, uh, but you got to understand, this is the longest coffee break you've ever been on in your life. <laughs> Do you, did you ever have any regrets about ducking Never. out when you did? Never. Not one. No, I went on to do another stuff. I, the mm -hmm. first thing I did, I volunteered and uh, worked for, gosh, a year for marketing and, mm -hmm. and uh, promotion for what was then called the Rayleigh's uh, Gold Rush Channel Challenge. It was the senior PGA golf tournament nice. here mm -hmm. at Serrano and that was great fun because I was golfing in those days. <laughs> Best thing I ever did was give it up <laughs> but people and all my friends were happy about people that. People still <laughs> recognize you. I mean you when when did you retire from Channel 13? What year? Uh, How many 99, years has it been? 20 years yeah. ago. So they, uh, people still, we had lunch not too long ago, and well, there, like were, there were people behind us, those four ladies having that birthday party, and they went crazy <laughs> when they saw Stan. Well, usually, and especially with the beard, I, I grew a beard because I had shingles on my face about a yeah, year ago, yeah. and I went to shave, because I couldn't shave, so I, I went to shave it off, and people said, oh, don't shave it, it looks good. So I thought, <laughs> well, hey, I'm retired, I'm lazy, I can just give it a little electric shave once in a while. Anyway, um, I was, um, I've been more than happy in retirement. I will tell you that there are some bugaboos that will come back. I, I have had nightmares, uh, maybe for the first couple of years. I used to have this nightmare that I would be running to the studio down this long <laughs> hall we had. Oh my God. And I could hear the opening theme to the show. <laughs> and I lived in terror of never being there for the beginning <laughs> of the newscast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running as fast as I can in and you the just, stream. And you can't get there. And I can't get there. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Nothing's moving. Because I look down and I have these uh, splints of cement around my legs. <laughs> I mean, it was bizarre. That's, that's just the shackles of broadcast television just won't well, let you move. <laughs> I'll tell you. No. <laughs> I'll tell you. I would wake up in a cold sweat. I bet. And I had I those bet. when I was working from time to time. 
but they continued for a couple of years after. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I am so thrilled that you're here. We've got cake. We've got uh, a photo booth yeah. that we can play with today. We stick Rick's, around for a few minutes. Rick's cake. Yes, from uh, Ahmad at Rick's Dessert Diner. It's so yeah. great to see you. Thank you so much for Thank being you, here darling. on my special mm. day. I my so pleasure. appreciate it. So appreciate it. More good day coming up after this. Yay! Stay uh, back in the Cody. Cody okay, Lynn. we'll do another one. <laughs> Cody, Cody.